Okay, so I'm eating lunch at my company cafeteria. My coworker Tom, I'm sorry, I'm laughing because I know how this ends. <laughs> My coworker Tom, not the same Tom you heard earlier, but my coworker Tom, um, he comes in with a, f a friend, and he sits down, and they're having a cup of coffee, and, and I hear him talking. They're talking about hockey, and I'm like, they're not just talking about watching hockey, they're talking about playing hockey. So I interrupt. I'm like, are you guys talking about playing hockey? And Tom's like, yeah, we've been playing three, four years downtown in a rec league. The company here actually sponsors the team that we're on. I was like, I didn't even know we had a team. He's like, I didn't know you were into hockey. Do you play? And I'm like, yeah, you know, a bit back in the day. And he said, well, today's your lucky day. Our first practice is Sunday, and we have an open spot on the team, and it's yours. I was like, are you kidding me? He's like, no, just show up Sunday at the ice arena, bring your gear, it's at noontime. And I'm like, ah. Oh. I don't know where my gear is. He's like, don't worry about it. I got doubles of everything. Just bring your skates and a stick. You're good to go. They finish their coffee, and then they leave. And I think, I don't know where my gear is. I don't know where my gear is. I don't have any gear. I've never played hockey before in my life. <laughs> Why did I lie? It's actually pretty simple, honestly, it's pretty simple. I had just turned 25 about three months earlier, and I thought it'd be cool to write a list of 100 things I'm gonna do before I hit 50. The list bogs down around 40, and I think 41 was try to read more books with less pictures. 42 is play organized ice hockey, because um, you see, I grew up on the Canadian border, and Americans played basketball in the winter, and Canadians played hockey, and I never got a chance to learn, so I put it on the list. And here it was, served up on a cafeteria tray. I just had to say, I'll do it. Um, so Sunday rolls around. I meet Tom. He's outside the locker room. He's got these two huge hockey tote bags, one on each shoulder. He sees me, and he drops it on the ground. And I pick it up, and it's heavy, and I follow him into the locker room. And this is where I get nervous for the first time. There's like 20, 25 guys in there. It's loud. It's the first practice, so there's a manic buzz. And uh, I sit down, and I unzip the bag. And I look in, and I see a helmet, and I see some gloves. And then I don't recognize anything else. <laughs> it's like a plethora of pads. And I'm like, even if I knew what it was, I don't know what order to put this stuff on. So I panicked. I just started looking around the locker room, watching guys getting dressed. Looking for a clue, like, I, I had nothing. And I thought, oh man, I'm probably understating how awkward it got so quickly. And I thought, great, not only am I the new guy, I'm also the new weird guy. It was, you know that naked dream where you're, you know, naked and everybody's looking at you? It was exactly like that, but completely the opposite, because I was fully dressed. They were all getting naked. They weren't looking at me, but I was, anyway, you get, you get the picture. And I thought, well, it clearly cannot get any more awkward than this, but oh, it did. It did. Tom had been kind of watching what was unfolding, and he looks at me, and he stands up loud enough for everyone to hear, and he says, you don't know how to dress yourself, do you? And I, I'll be honest, the, the one and only thought in my head um, was, Run. I still have my shoes on. The door was right there. And this was before the internet when you could run away from your problems. It was a simpler time, you know? And I was like, I can't run from this. Some of these guys I know, and I work with all of them in the same company, I'm gonna bump into them. So I just put my head down and I said, no, I don't know how to dress myself. And the place erupted with laughter and I was so embarrassed. And. Um, the laughter starts to die down, and the comedian of the team, obviously, with perfect timing, says, so, Tom, is this the left winger you said you recruited? And the place erupts again, and I was just like, oh, my God, not only am I embarrassed, but I'm feeling guilty because <laughs> cause I lied to Tom, right? And he stuck his neck out for me. So I look over at Tom, and Tom's doubled over laughing harder than almost anyone else. So I think I'm okay with Tom. 
So I'm feeling a little bit more relief, and then I look, and there's two guys walking towards me, and I'm like, oh, no, not only am I not going to get to cross 42 off, I'm going to get thrown out of a hockey locker room. And they're, they're hovering over me, and one of the guys says, you might want to pay very close attention, because we are only going to show you this once. After today, you're on your own. And they proceeded to show me how to dress myself. I wound up playing for two years with these guys. I scored two goals. And I was arguably the second worst player on the team, which I would argue with what I thought was the worst player. <laughs> if there's any lesson in any of this, um, I assume it's probably pointed towards the 25-year-olds out there. Keep your bucket list short. <laughs>